Dale, can you talk a little bit about how Centra obtains the information from Zach's team or the sales team that helps Centra make adjustments and pivot quickly to what the market's asking for. Yeah, that's really critical as we're trying to design what the consumer wants. We do our best to offer exactly what they want versus what they think they want. Really being in tune with your sales team and them understanding what is a consumer looking for, what are the current trends is really critical because we we don't we no longer as a company offer 5000 different options we're really trying to make the experience streamlined and easy for the consumer more enjoyable which is in turn raised our customer satisfaction. So getting that feedback from Zach and his team of, of what is it that they're truly looking for? What what size spaces are they needing? What type of features are they looking for is really critical. And they're on the front line. So they're hearing what the trends are. They're hearing what those needs are. As Centra has pivoted with the information that's come back from the market, I'm interested to know whether that's had any impact at all on the sales cycle. Zach, do you have any information that you can share about the average time a Centra home might be on the market before it's sold? Yeah, so to sort of touch on that, new construction will show a bit of a difference compared to an existing house. So when you think about an existing home that goes to market, it's done, it's prepped, it's ready to hit the market. Those homeowners have done all the things that they need to be able to do to go active on the market. New construction, we're generally selling out in front of the builder in production. Does that mean we're selling before we've even started? No, Centra has a very unique process that they use that we are selling as we're building them. Most times when we go to market, that book house is not completed yet. It's in a various stage of construction. We may have other homes similar to that one that are done and likely sold, but most of the homes that Centra builds here in the last couple of years, two years, 80% of them have been sold before we even complete the home. So as a builder, in my experience of working with builders over the years, the ability to stay out in front of the builder with sales frees up the ability for that builder to actually stay forward looking on their production, their land development, and obviously cash reserves. That's astounding to me that 80% of the homes that Centra builds are sold before construction is complete. I'm not sure and I'm interested to get both of your insights. Is that normal? You know, in your experience, are most builders able to sell 80% of their homes before they're even completed? No. It's not normal. You know, Centra's bring to market strategy allows them to be able to fine tune the offering that they have. Dale mentioned earlier about buyer's needs and wants. A buyer needs certain things out of a home for it to fit their family, for it to fit their lifestyle, things like that. They also want certain things out of their new home, but the wants are generally driven by affordability. And a lot of times affordability is a factor that we'll probably talk about this today, but interest rates are the affordability factor. Cost of labor and materials are affordability factor. So as those things change, a buyer doesn't have the ability to always get all the wants that they want. And they have to pick and choose those things. Centra does a great job of getting into those needs and hitting all of the needs and hitting a good amount of the wants. Sometimes all the wants, but a good amount of those wants to allow that buyer to then still say, I can afford this, I can live here comfortably, I can raise my family, I can get all the amenities I need from the area, and I don't have to be stretched beyond my financial ability. When we bring that type of a product to market, I think it allows us to really be able to drive home to that homeowner that it's a comfortable purchase. And if you're more comfortable with your purchase, they're gonna make a decision earlier in that time frame of construction. Dale, I know that you've had a very long career in real estate development and specifically in new home construction. I'm curious what your thoughts are on Centra's ability to deliver homes to the market and sell them before construction's even complete. How does that compare to your experience in the past and some of the other builders you may have worked for? Our business model is not entirely unique, but it is not the norm. Most builders like to have a house sold before they even start it. And you'll have many of them will do a home, a spec home, a, that's building a home on speculation. So you don't have a buyer yet. You know, it's pretty unusual that you're selling the vast majority of your spec homes in a normal market. You know, there are certain markets Markets, you sell everything before it's finished. But in a normal market, it's pretty unusual to have most of your products sold before you're finished. You know, for us, when we zeroed in and we said, let's build exactly what the consumer wants, that way we can give a more affordable price, they have a higher satisfaction level, 
you know, we don't need to wait to try to figure out what we're going to build. We're able to build that and then we're able to get it sold because they know exactly what they're going to get. It's it's predictable. It's familiar because they can go see it in other homes that we're building at that time. It's not entirely unique. There are other builders that, that do similar models, but you know, in our market, it's, it's fairly unique that everything we start virtually does not have a buyer yet. And yet, you know, we're building homes in 100 days and we've got them sold before that 100 days is up, which is incredibly fast. What do you attribute, you know, Centra's success with this business model to? A little bit of background that got us to this business model is we were, we worked and worked and worked. We wanted our customers to just be thrilled and in love with their homes. And we didn't always meet that standard. Trying to figure out why couldn't we meet this standard all the time, we really started digging in. We said, what, what is the driving factors that these customers aren't totally satisfied? And what was really interesting is we dug into the information and the data. What we found is the consumers, the more options they picked that they didn't see, the lower their satisfaction rating was. And the longer the process took. You know, somebody that hasn't had their house started, you know, they come in, and there's a process they gotta go through. They gotta pick all of their selections and, and there can be thousands of selections that they're going through. Carpet colors, there's hundreds of them that they're trying to choose from. And how is that gonna look with my brick? And how's that gonna look with my cabinets? And so they have all these emotional decisions that they're trying to make. And that can take them months at times. Then once we have that, we can actually go in for the permit. And depending on the city, that can be anywhere from two weeks to three months. And then you've gotta build the house. So it's a very long process. And building a house is pretty emotional and can be trying on relationships relationships. And we looked at it and said, well, the longer it takes, the more emotion that's involved, the more options they have, the less satisfied they are. And so looking at that data, we said, well, let's look at what the consumer wants. And we discovered most of them are getting similar things with slight variations. And the slight variations is when the satisfaction went down. So it's, let's just make sure we really know in depth, what does that consumer want? And let's offer that and eliminate these thousands of options. Well, by doing that, we were able to speed up the entire process. Now we don't have that months of selections. We don't have the potentially months of getting a permit. We're able to go right to permit and speed that process up. And when we did that, we found that our buyer satisfaction went up significantly by doing that process. And so it's it's been a phenomenal transition that we made. And we, and we did this transition probably, I'm going to guess, three to four years ago.